Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. So in tonight's video, we're going to talk a little bit about a fragrance that I end up picking up from a company called Fragrance Club Genealogy Collection. This can be found under a website by the name of ladyandred.com. They specialize in making Creed replicas. So all the popular and really mainstream Creed fragrances, they've replicated and they've done a exceptional job at each and every one of them. The ones that they've uh, replicated are Creed Aventus for him, as well as for her, Creed Millicene Imperial, Green Irish Tweed, Viking. The one that I wanted to review tonight is Green Irish Tweed. This is their presentation that they have here. Sort of like a, a grayish green label. And it has a uh, like a like a really light gray and white uh, slash in the middle. It has our replica Creed Green Irish Tweed. This is an Audi Parfum concentration, 1.7 ounce, 50 ml, Fragrance Club Genealogy Collection. And then on the back here, it just has a little bit of information about the company. Fragrance Club Collection competes with designer brands. It does not use their fragrances, and is not associated in any way with the designer brands or their manufacturers. Has a little bit of ingredient info as well as location info for the brand. Take the cap off here. Firm, secure cap, doesn't slide at all. Got a silver atomizer here. And the juice on this is superb. Try a little bit of on. And already you're just gonna get that super fresh DNA that you just absolutely love. Let's take a look at the notes. The notes for this fragrance is green pineapples, lemon, lime, bergamot, jasmine, rose, lavender, musk, mosses, as well as sandalwood. Now they went a different direction with some of the notes in this one. Uh, I wanna say green pineapples isn't really in the original green Irish tweed. Lime, I don't believe is there. Bergamot and lemon may be there. Uh, the jasmine and rose, I'm not familiar with. I think the lavender was there. The musk was there. I don't remember any oak moss. I think I remember like ambergris being in there and they utilize sandalwood as well. This smells absolutely, absolutely perfect. You just get everything that you're looking for in that Green Irish Tweed fragrance. You're looking for that, that powdery sort of musk, which they were able to accomplish without the use of iris. I wanna say iris and lemon verbena was one of the uh, notes in the original. They was able to accomplish that sort of powdery vibe without using that iris. It's gonna come off Fresh, slightly powdery, more like a creamy powdery, more than anything. Uh, you're gonna get some musk that's gonna come in there. Gonna be some a little bit of depth with that sandalwood because it's such a bright and light powdery fragrance. Just the slightest wood is is very much noticeable. You got some sweetness in there. All those uh, other citruses coming in and providing a lot of that zesty freshness. This is a fragrance that is just like completely fresh. Like you put this on fresh out of the shower and just fresh is what you're going to be this is completely completely spring completely summer but in my honest opinion and this is just my opinion this is honestly the way this is composed strong enough to even go in the winter you know it's it's just one of those scents where the fall and winter isn't going to scare this one away this one is made strong enough it's built strong where it can honestly cut through that cold weather as well. Such a smooth uh, and musky dry down once it calms down a little bit. That freshness is still there, but it's more so like this really light and creamy sort of freshness and not necessarily real zesty and, and bright and refreshing and things like that. It still has some of those components, but it's just way creamier the way that it's done. As you can see, I put a decent little dent in this particular fragrance. There's nothing like putting on a fragrance that you want to be fresh. It's gonna make sure that you are and last. This particular fragrance, for it to be as fresh as it is, is gonna come off, like I said, really creamy, fresh, bright, invigorating, slightly powdery. Then that's gonna calm down. It's gonna still be there, but it's gonna be a much smoother and creamier variation of that fresh vibe. What you're going to get after that is going to get those musk. That sandalwood is going to come up a little bit more. The lavender, in my opinion, comes up a little bit more as well as the rose. And it's just going to just going to have this really nice musky, floral, deep and slightly woody vibe that's going to last out through the, through the entirety of the fragrance. That lavender also has a very nice amount of sweetness in it as well. 
that's super pleasant along with those musk and those woods on my skin this is going to last me roughly around like nine hours i say about eight nine is pushing it uh, which is a really nice amount of time for something that is this fresh it's going to project it's going to project it's going to last and so people will catch you know catch this fragrance on you they will notice it on you and i've garnered a decent amount of compliments on this one as well fragrance club genealogy collection they do an excellent job at replicating the pre fragrances uh, i can't wait to go over some more of their their works that they've done so far as the pre replicas they do an excellent job and they are spot on they utilize a lot of different notes that are are not in the originals and still are able to catch the proper de depiction of that fragrance another part about this particular fragrance that i find to be really interesting is the price point you can pick this up on their website and they often have promos going on as well but you can pick this up on their website this is the 1.7 50 ml for about 30 bucks sometimes they'll have promos going on where you, you can get this for like 25 maybe even 20 depending on what's happening and to me that's just that's just unbeatable a great presentation very simple to the point they're not trying to be cheesy and have a bottle that looks like theirs uh very respectful to what's going on so far as manufacturing and and legal terms and terminology and all of that so far as the atomizer and the actual spray you got a a phenomenal spray it kicks out a lot of juice wide spray great distribution and a nice fine mist typically this will come with a card with all of the fragrances and all of the fragrance notes lined up on it i end up misplacing my card because i bought this one uh a year or so ago and i end up misplacing my card the young ladies over at lady in red they are super helpful they're quick they're expedient any anytime that i've had a question or anything like that they've accommodated me they were more than happy to accommodate me and go above and beyond to make sure i had everything that i needed this company this company is based out of new york just in case you are ordering and you want to know how long it may possibly take you and you know for the package to actually arrive to you it gives you a decent idea of where it may be coming from like i said we're all familiar with green irish tweed and, and what it does what it's capable of its dna just wanted to highlight a very competitive and affordable option to that exact same fragrance now i've heard that this one is really close to cool water but i've never tried cool water or at least not in recent years i haven't i've had cool water uh body oil in the past i may pick up another bottle of that and just see if there's any you know similarities or anything like that i could imagine it being quite different i actually wanted to showcase this one here trading a week bar them off this one in my opinion is really good the price point is roughly about the same the presentation is a lot more elaborate a bit different uh but to be honest i prefer this one actually over today in the week today in the week is a uh, for some reason gets a little warmer quickly uh sometimes it comes off a little warm out of the gate i don't know the bottle or the scent itself kind of changes after it sits for a while uh but that one i don't really prefer to this one i like this one actually way better to me that freshness that that high pitch sort of creamy powdery freshness to it that invigorating sort of smell stays you know for the entirety of the fragrance it just tones down to become a little creamier and it rests in that a lavender note as well it just tones down become a little bit creamier and then it sits right alongside that lavender note and for the entirety of the fragrance like i said the packaging very straight to the point so far as their packaging this is the event is for her the silver mountain water the green Irish tweed and they all kind of have that same sort of uh same sort of labeling and design and concept which i like it's straight to the point it's not a whole lot going on just their focus is mainly on that fragrance i will drop the link in the description where you guys can check out this fragrance for yourself take a look at the rest of their selection and see what may catches your eye or catches your fancy like i said these are nothing new under the sun but it is a much more competitive and affordable option for you to check out if you want to maybe extend some sprays on your og or you may want to sample this one sample the green hours tweed to see what you're getting into this is a great way to do that you get a really good idea of what that dna is going to be like and you can decide whether or not you want to pull that trigger uh, and drop those few few hundred to pick that up and if you're happy with this you can just stick with this and pick up a few extra bottles of this i personally love these just easy to take with me 
I can easily drop this in my pocket and it's a bigger size, but it's just the way that it's shaped is easy for me to carry around with me, take it out, get a quick refresh and go on by my day. And it's just, it's just a beautiful scent. I'm gonna hop in the shower tonight and I'm gonna put this on and I just, it just feels like you're taking a whole nother shower. It's just a, such a fresh fragrance. I can't, I can't rant and rave about this one enough. Listen guys, that is it for this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And I will catch you guys soon. Peace.